Oh yeah, I'm curious. What's going on? You suspended my social security? Well, sir, where did you get some of those information? Uh, you called me. Okay, that's why I'm asking. Where did you get some of those information? I can't understand. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, where did you get that information? From where did you get that information? Get what information? You called me. Yeah, about your suspension of your social security number. Correct. Sorry? Y yes, that is correct. I, I got that information from you. I had no idea. Well, uh, that means the call is being routed by the administration department to the investigation department, and now you are connected to the investigation department. Here, can you please help me out with your name? <clears throat> uh, you, you guys should have that, shouldn't you? Yeah, I, we, we got your name, but we just want to have a verification about it from your side. No, absolutely. So sorry, uh, just being cautious. It's Philip Peters. Sorry? Philip Peters. Philip Peters. Correct. Well, Mr. Philip, here I got your file now for verification and for the investigation. Can you please confirm the last four of your socials? Sure, it's 8619. Well, here, the reason for this call is to inform you that the social security number which belongs to you is going to get suspended because of the information that we have received from the law enforcement agencies. Have you been known about this information before? Boy, I, I tell you, I sure haven't. This is the first I've heard of it. Before we move ahead, I would update you that the lines on which we are talking at this moment of time are being federally recorded and monitored by the three major government affiliations. Okay, great. Federal and I, and, and, and I, I'm recording as well, so thank you very much. Yeah, okay. It will be good if you record it too. Great. Have we started recording? Yes, sir. Okay, now, as I have told you before, that the line on which we are talking are being federally tapped and monitored by the three major government affiliations, Federal Trade Commission, Better Business Bureau, Financial Crime Enforcement Network. So, please don't interrupt me in between and listen to me carefully. I promise to give you a fair chance to speak and raise your questions once I'm done, okay? Are we clear? Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Do your thing. The investigation is started under your name and your socials. When we recovered an abandoned car in the south border of Texas, make and model of this car was Toyota Corolla. Vehicle number TX144. This car was idled on the streets and the locals reported about this car to be suspicious. After which the local sheriff investigated on the car, they found some drugs and blood residue inside the car which kept them completely enthralling. Further during investigation, they found this car was rented under your name and your social. Oh. And the address linked to the title of the vehicle is 7609 Crescent Avenue, El Paso, Texas. Are you affiliated to this address? Uh, no, I, no, I've never been to Texas. This address is El Paso, Texas that I'm talking about is already suspicious address which was raided by the State Rangers Division and the U.S. Marshals. Unfortunately, there was no one at this residence, and we have recovered 25 pounds of cocaine, hmm. which is an abusive drug, and it is categorized in the synthetic drug section. And some paperwork and documentations with some banking institutions like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase, and TD Bank. And all of these four business banking accounts, they were all under your name and your socials. Okay. Here, the question arises: when we were investigating on these banking statements with the respected financial institutes, we found more than $240,000 of money have been wired from these accounts locally and internationally. Now, do you have any idea regarding all this information? No, I, I don't deal in, in that small of, a, of an amount of cocaine. It's usually a lot more than that. Okay, that means how much amount of cocaine do you use to deal with? 
Well, I mean, 25 pounds, is it, that's small, small peanuts. That's, I usually go for more of a distribution rather than just street-level stuff. Uh, so, do you know one thing? The, what, what's that? Okay. Uh, you just sounds like a kid, okay? How do you know about cocaine? How does it look like? How, how does cocaine look like? <laughs> Excuse me? Are you, I mean, are you talking about, like, cocaine? Are you talking about crack rock? Are you talking about bricks? What are you talking about? Hello? Yeah, I'm right here. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Well, so how do I get my, my, my cocaine back? I mean, at 25 pounds, I'm not really worried about that being lost, but I'd love my, my quarter mil back. Hello? Yep, still here. Still here? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm one of the suppliers, for sure. Well, it sounds like you put me on mute. I'm sorry, I can't hear you in the, your uh, call center there. Well, did I lose you? Well, what? Well, well, thanks anyways. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Fucking idiot.